Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself study kit for Cisco UCCE troubleshooting standard kit, I'm going to discuss about how to get familiar with uh, the command line um, CLI based uh, troubleshooting. So we're going to use the unified system CLI and go through a few of the commands that are available for us to troubleshoot the system. Now I'm going to log in to the router process or router server. And what you're going to do, first of all, you gotta make sure that ICM diagnostic service is running. Without that, it will not work. We will not be able to connect to CLI. So we gotta make sure that this particular service right there, uh, ICM Diagnostic Framework should be running. All right, so now that it is confirmed, so let's go and look for Unified CLI. Right there, it's Unified System CLI. Okay, it's gonna ask you for username, which is pod one slash administrator. We're going to define the password and of course the default instance now once you connect to that it basically shows you welcome to platform cli one of the first thing that we want to do is initialize uh, the system process so we can type system in it this will initialize the system now you use this command when you make an update or changes uh, to a pro uh, a pl uh, what we call a file name called device.csv Now, if I go to that uh, folder called ICM, you go to serviceability page, C uh, WSCLI, and you will find under con, con folder, there is a file called device-sample.csv. So we're going to open that particular file in Notepad. And what we're going to do is going to create a template. So it allows you to pull data from multiple servers. So we're going to add one or two server. Okay, so you gotta follow these headers right there. So we're going to first add, let's say 51, comma, Rogger A, should be a thing in space, Rogger A, ICM, and then we're going to define, uh, we don't have any group, so we're going to define username, which will be, let's say, pod1 slash administrator, comma, password. And then we're going to define maybe a comma just to end. So this would be our admin. So now we're going to define the side B. So depending on where you want to run this platform uh, stuff, you will you want to copy this file to every single node. So let's say I'm going to do one more 55. And I'm going to call this PGA, PG1A, okay? All right, so I'm going to save that file, but this time I'm going to save it as uh, devices.csb. Now we're not going to say text file. We're going to say device.csv. Okay, now once that file is in added, so we need to rerun the initialize. So when you say system initialize, it actually import the content of that file. Okay, so I will exit, exit, and then I will go back in.
Okay, so same username, password, instance. And the first thing we're going to do is initialize the system. Now you want to make sure that that devices.csb, uh, make sure that file name is correct. So let me go double check that. It should be devices.csb. And you want to copy this file um, only on the node where you will be using the unified CLI. If you anticipate only running CLI on admin, then you want to deploy this file on all the admin servers. Okay, so now we're gonna initialize it, system init, and it's gonna try to initialize the file. If there is a problem, of course, you will have to address that. Now, again, use this command. Now we're gonna type um, system, which will basically allows us to go to system mode to collect the data. We want to type the word system, which allows us to go into system mode to collect the data. At this stage, if I type the command show version, I can see what versions of my UCC I'm running. As you can see, so it's a platform, it gives the information about the platform. If I type show devices and you can see all the services that are running here as well now <clears throat> so far what i have i have admin so i have a rogger i have call manager that is not correct type shouldn't there's sh 21 should not be there unless it's coming from the call uh, pg Okay, so I have my router A, I got my router B, and then I have my PG1A. Now, I guess through the PG1A is getting the call manager address, which is dot .21, but that is not correct type. Okay, so if I type show debug, It will tell me all uh, the current debug uh, trace level that are currently set. Uh, the system will show all the UCC server components. And if you want to collect de debugging or enable debugging, you would type, let's say I want to collect, um, uh, uh, I want to set a debugging trace. So you will type the command debug level one, server ICM rogger A, component oops component now this is where you got to be careful in a component you got to put the word icm router a and sub component will be icm colon rtr remember the rtr trace file so basically similar thing you're doing it right here and at this stage if i click on hit enter Okay, it's invalid. Um, component. So I believe this should be my uh, server name. So let me Roger A. Let me see if that works. Nope. Okay, sorry about that. It's supposed instead of ICM Rogger A, it's supposed to be the IP address of the Rogger A. So here you notice I'm putting debug level one server and the IP address of your Rogger A component ICM Rogger A sub component will be ICM RTR. And when I try to run it, it's going to ask, it's going to give me a warning. This may affect the system performance, which is perfectly fine because I'm in training a lab, lab environment. But in production, you want to make sure you're extremely careful and it's going to collect the data. So successfully set the debugging level for that to level one. Now, if you want to collect show tech support for tech, then you want to run the show tech support command, which will collect, uh, retrieve a lot of data for the last 24 hours, for example. And it's downloading the file called ICM setup.log.
and all these files that are, that are being downloaded it will be stored in a folder under our ICM serviceability WSCLI download folder so I'll show you that in a minute so you go one level up uh, probably these yeah right there call uh, clip output zero so that is the file that is being downloaded and this command will grab the last 24 hour snapshot of all the servers and components logs including OPC and uh, that are captured on the PG as well all right so this is basically how you will uh, learn how, how you will use a CLI to collect traces or set traces and so and so so in the subsequent sub chapter I'll show you how to use more of CLI commands to troubleshoot the UCCE